Hi, my name is Raju. I'm from Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, this is my first visit to Orissa in the nature. Then this is the first my first visit to Orissa Debrigat Nature Camp. I've been trekking with India X for some time, and uh, I've done treks in Uttarakhand and Kashmir, and uh, I've done Chhattisgarh jungle trek. This was, I was not expecting anything when I came here for the trek, like I thought it was just a nature walk or something like that. And normally people who trek in the Himalayas, they don't want to come for the sanctuary treks or the eco, -tour, eco treks and all. But I would say I was completely blown out when I came here with the various aspects here. There's a, just a nature walk, there's a safari. And there's a walk in the bamboo forest, which you can't imagine the length and the thickness of the bamboos and the way it is covered, like hardly the sun was seeping inside. It was trying to play hide and seek with us while we were walking in the bamboo forest. It was so thick and the size and smells in the forest is mind blowing. It was so natural and the only sounds you can hear is the birds calling and your own footsteps and once in a while the leaves crumbling be below your feet. After the nature walk and the bamboo forest walk, we went for the boat ride to the cattle island. While going it was a bit foggy and uh, the weather was not very clear so we couldn't see the surroundings much of it. And we went to the cattle island in the evening and weather was slightly cloudy. And later in the evening it rained and the staff were so cooperative, they took care of all the things and it was raining and it was windy but it settled down later in the night and early morning it was clear. And it was a bit cloudy actually in the early morning, we were doubtful whether it is, whether it is going to clear or not. But it cleared up so well, the sun was full bright and the around me was so mesmerizing, the views of the entire sanctuary was visible from there. The length and breadth of the uh, Hirakud Dam is unimaginable like. And you can see the small, small islands scattered all over the place and it was mind blowing like. It's such a wonderful experience and coming to this nature camp, Debriga nature camp is a blessing like. I would say it is a must do trek for anybody. Thank you. Hello everyone, uh, myself Divakar. I am from Jharkhand Rati. We have just returned from Devigarh nature trek. And this is my third trek with India Hikes. And uh, each of them have a very unique experience every time and wonderful experiences. Uh, this time I came with my nine year old son Arab. And uh, yeah, this trek had a bit of everything. There was forest hike, then the hike through the grassland, uh, then uh, we uh, we hiked through the, saf uh, the uh, safari area, we, we, we did a j jungle safari and then we did a boat ride to Cattle Island uh, which, uh, uh, which was the first time any human beings were uh, camping there for the night. So uh, it was a good experience being the first one there. And uh, yeah, like uh, the the whole experience, like it was also like managing the uncertainties. Like life is not just like a hike in the woods in a pleasant weather. It's also about facing the storms and the challenges that comes in the way. And we faced the uh, storms in the Cattle Island, and it was nice to see the uh, the spirits of uh, the emotional and the physical and the mental limits of everyone getting challenged and everyone overcame with the team spirit and camaraderie and the uh, leadership of India Hikes team and the support of the forest department officials and it was so wonderful seeing my young son uh, managing those challenges not panicking in the situation and I feel that this trek is an experience for him from turning from a boy into a man and I, I just hope that uh, this, the learning from these tricks and similar more experiences will uh, make in, him into a better human being. So that's it, yeah. So wonderful experience. Hello everyone, I'm Punita Sandhu and I've come from Punjab, Mohali. I'm sure most of you must have heard of Mohali. We have uh, cricket matches over there. And for me to visit, Hirakud Dam has been an amazing experience. 
I've done lots and lots of treks. I think I can't even count how many I've done. And I've done about five treks. This is my fifth trek with India Hikes. And I must say, it is this trek to Debrigar Sanctuary it has been a totally different experience. Like you have everything, the whole package in one. You go boating, you do uh, uh, safari rides, and of course you trek. So everything in one go. And then you're camping right next to the dam and to Kettle Island. We went to Kettle Island, which is something where a normal tourist is not allowed to go. So thanks to India Hikes and the forest department that we were allowed to go there. And the weather was also very fine. The areas around were amazing. Whatever we had to face a little bit of storm and all, but that is but natural for treks. And I must say the trek leader and Nitesh, both of them had been exceptionally patient and calm in handling all the situations. Wherever we needed help, they were always there to help us. And so was the forest department. I'm sure India hikes will continue with such treks because I believe a lot in India hikes. I, I feel that it is a very safe and uh, you can say organization which is not too commercialized. They are worried about the environment. They want people to learn about the environment, how to save our environment. So they are doing a very, very good job in that. And I would like to thank Naina and Nitesh personally for this. And I, that I, I've got an opportunity to join the pilot project of this. That means one of the first ones to be in this group. It has been amazing and I met people from all over. I've done so many treks. Right from 1981, I think I've been trekking when I was in class 7 or 8. And the first trek I did was in Kun Sahab and Valley of Class. But this is a totally different place and I'm sure all Indians must visit this place. We have so much to see in India. I don't know why we need to go out. It is just incredible India and I'm sure we are all proud of it, especially India Hikes. They are doing a wonderful job. Thank you India Hikes. Thank you Nitesh and Nana and the Forest Department for your cooperation. Thank you.